I see them. I'm in range. Target's coming up. Just hold them off for a few seconds. Was a formation. Almost there. Gaming Collectibles, and today we're looking at a uh, 1 in 72 scale Bandai TIE Fighter kit. Now, this kit is in the 172nd scale, so it's pretty big. As you can see, the size of it, my hand is pretty big too, but it's pretty big. I like the size of this. Um, the Bandai kits, obviously, a lot of people know it doesn't come assembled, it's just a kit, so you have to assemble all this. It's non painted, nothing is painted, but a very, very nice detail kit. Um, what Bandai does is they, they they just go crazily crazily into detail like as you can see in this area It's crazy amounts of detail uh, All kinds of um, like work right there like as you can see right there There's a lot of detail going on right there inside that uh, Oh, what do you call that the wing and then uh, as well as the cockpit area, which you can't even see but it's detailed in there um, very nice looking uh, uh, fighter so what I've done I've actually uh, painted this and made it uh, very accurate to the Return of the Jedi version um, these are going up for sale so if you want one um, uh, do hit me up and we can work out a price um, I love working on these kits I do have an eBay page so if you want to look at that go ahead but as you can see the amount of detail on this it, they range from like 20 bucks a kit so it's very affordable and very easy to buy on like Amazon or, or even Hobby Lobby and stuff like that start selling these kits but awesome awesome work um, I love to work on these as you can see the detail in the um, wing on the inside as well it looks very nice very fine lines no no, no plasticky looking um, um, anywhere it's just like you just have the model from the from the uh, movies so this is an awesome uh, little it's like almost a little replica from the movies uh, as you can see I added touch-up paints uh, right here um, the little yellow and red marks and whatnot and then moving down towards the base the base is a little stick stand thing that kind of like pegs into the bottom of the TIE fighter and then towards the bottom you have the TIE uh, the Death Star base which is pretty cool because they have interlocking system basically with other kits like I have the TIE Advance here and it can interlock and make this one big bottom area it also comes with a little tiny um, TIE pilot which is pretty cool a 172nd scale he's not that great in posability but once you have him in this pose he stands really awesome and then uh, as you can see I painted the bottom too as well um, going towards the back of the figure um, let's move up towards here and there's the back of the figure as you can see all of that detail it just looks awesome it just looks awesome when you weather it and you get it complete it's just amazing I've added uh, LED lighting to my other one my tie interceptor just as a work see what happens and it didn't go so well but a lot of drilling holes and it didn't get that successful for me. I got a lot of work going. But uh, this that's pretty much it. You can also pose this at uh, different angles with the um, um, stand. The stand pops out and you can like make different angles out of them. And you can tilt and turn and make it all cool looking. And I love these little laser beams, that uh, blasters that come out of the TIE Fighter. You can just peg in and peg out as you can see right here. I'll just slip that one out. It's so easy to put in and put out. Um, the fluorescent glow of it just makes it look even more better. And just a wonderful kit. If you're looking forward to getting a kit like this, I would say go ahead and get it. It's an amazing kit. 
Um, you can really do some work with these uh, these kits. They're really awesome. I love them. They're they're great in, in uh, likeness to the movies and likeness to everything. So once you have your painting skills down, you can really make a real good masterpiece out of this. As you can see, the details in the um, uh, you can't even see inside the cockpit. But there's a tie pilot inside the cockpit. Um, it comes with inter interchangeable parts like the the the, um, the the front windshield area basically it they have a plastic uh full plastic or a full thing so it can be like a full um coverage but i just leave this because in the movies they had it with no glass or anything in front because that's will reflect with the cameras and back then they didn't want that so i put in the original uh look to it so i liked that a lot better too um but yeah tie fighter 172nd scale from bandai awesome kit uh great to work with just 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 an amazing build hope you like what you saw in these company gaming collectibles and uh stay tuned for more and i hope you guys love what i'm doing and be sure to like the video check out my ebay store and peace